the budget tracker, goes into the budget sheet, which is a roll up, um, and both of these go into the budget report. And then the budget report is going to, the budget reports are going to go directly to the project dashboard, but also the budget sheet actually goes to the dashboard as well. So I know this off the top of my head, but if you think about this, if you have any metrics, for example, um, that pull directly from, um, so if this, for example, the metric that's going to show up on the project dashboard is actually like the total budget and the spent to date is going to pull from here. Okay. If I had past due invoices or something, it would probably go into a budget report that would then go to the project dashboard. So I know that. Um, then I also know that I'm going to have some reports for CRADE log and I know that because I have CRADE reports here. So I'm going to call these CRADE reports. Right. Reports. And again, I'm going to copy this, paste, right? And I know that my CRADE report is going to go to uh, my CRADE log is going to go to my CRADE reports. Okay. And then my CRADE reports are going to go into um, my dashboard. Is there any information that is on the CRADE log that goes onto the project dashboard? Let me pause for a second because I don't remember off the top of my head and let me go in my project dashboard and think about what's included. So I have my project budget. This is the reason why the project budget sheet goes directly here. Um, past due CRADE and CRADE items. So this is a metric, which means I need a metric sheet for the CRADE log. So that means that I do have a direct link there. So I'm going to go back to my oh I wasn't doing it. okay sorry um, I'm going to go back to my solution demo and I'm going to know that I do have a create metric sheet um, right which is metrics right and then I know that the create metrics sheet is going to go um, into here so I'm going to copy this now, again, you might not know everything for this, but if you've created the solution, it's going to become easier to kind of know all the different components that roll into it. So for here, I know that I have create metrics and I know that the create metrics are going to go into my project dashboard. All right, so probably the most important thing is your project plan, and that's actually the last thing we're talking about, right? So the project plan here and the project plan is going to have information about reports. So I'm going to copy this to um click here and i'm going to say project reports okay and i know that for my project reports i'm also going to have project metrics um so i'm going to click that here as well and i'm going to do project metrics metrics right and again i'm going to copy this here and click here, we go to project reports, project metrics. And I know that I have metrics about the project in terms of like past due tasks and number of open tasks and all that other good stuff. And then I know that my project reports are gonna go directly into my project dashboard. And I know that copy. Here we go. I'm going to go for my project metrics and go to my project dashboard as well. OK, so now I've you know identified here budget, budget tracking, create log, project dashboard, project plan, requirements and stakeholders. So we haven't talked too much about these yet. Um, and then we haven't talked really about these forms. So I'm going to move this over here because I, I have a majority of what's in there. And now I just need to go more from my memory. OK, so I'm going to go over here and um, so there's a couple of different things um, I need to think about. So the first thing is, is where, if any, are there any forms? So a form is something that's going to add a new row of information into an existing sheet. So one place that I typically have a form is if there's like a new risk or a new issue and I want someone to go ahead and add that. So I'm going to go ahead, oopsies. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to click here and I'm going to add my form that I have, which is here, which is my CRADE log. I also want to be able to add a new task. So I typically have a form that I use for my project plan so that team members can add new tasks if I don't want to give them edit access to the um, project plan um, directly um, to add rows right there because it might mess something up or anything. So I typically do this. 
And then what else do I do? Do I have any other ones? I think that I usually use one in the requirement sheet, but I won't talk about that. So the form, oopsies, what happened here? Okay, I have two forms. I'm gonna not do this user role yet. I'm gonna move this over here so I can move this all over. So I'm gonna copy and paste this here. I'm gonna move this over so that I have a little bit more room for my solution. Um, and then I'm gonna do an update request to um, so I typically get up, I typically do update requests, um, for my, both for my create log as well as over here. So, you know what, this is not working for me. So, you know what, I'm going to do this, let me see here, I'm, gonna, I'm just arranging it so that it makes more sense to me. I'm going to move these over here. And then I'm going to, again, sorry, this is more of a formatting issue where I, I ran out of room, so I want to move this up. Okay. And I'm going to move these things back over here a little bit further. And then I'm going to move my project dashboard over here. Um, I'm going to make these go into here. Sorry, this is more of a formatting issue than anything else, but okay. So then I'm going to have my budget reports and I'm going to have my budget sheet and my budget tracker and I'm going to kind of do it up here. So that it makes more sense and I will make these over here so that I don't. So again, it's not perfect for this, but. Here we go. That ah, makes a little bit more sense, right? Okay. There we go. All right. So we got a budget sheet. We got a budget tracker. Um, why isn't this? Okay. There we go. Um, okay. So what was I going to do? Oh, yes. I do an update request from my project plan because I want to know what the status of a specific um, a specific task is. So I send out update requests to my team. So I'm going to move this over here and say that there's an update request here. And then similarly, um, I also do an update request, which is for my CRADE log. So if someone's assigned a, um, a CRADE item, for example, um, I typically do an update request for that as well. And an update request, just as a reminder, is a automation um that runs so um anyways i'm going to do this as a task update request right um task and i'll say project task in this case just to remind myself of what type of update this is project task request whereas this is a crate item request crate item update request okay um, and then over here, I have those two other sheets that I had in my solution. One is a requirement sheet and one is a stakeholder sheet. I happen to know if I go back to my, um, into my individual one here, I have my project team members and that comes from my stakeholder sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do this over here. Um, right now in my current solution, I don't actually have a requirements report. Um, so I've created a solution, but this actually doesn't show up in my project dashboard right now, which is OK. Like this is a, you know, a useful report that my analysts use. Um, uh, analysts use the sheet, but I don't actually have anything come up here. Typically, if there's like a change in requirements or something else, they log it to the CRADE log. Um, so that's how that works. All right. So I've just um, just created a solution diagram right where I have my project dashboard and I know what information is flowing in or what sheets are impacted by um, by this project dashboard again most of this information was in my head because I actually created um, this dashboard and I know what pieces come from where um, but that's kind of uh, the pieces and you can even see here I have add new task form add new create item form and then you have some of those sheets and everything like that and reports okay so anyways, I hope this was helpful. I do highly recommend that you document the solutions you build, especially if you're going to be passing this off to other people and other teams that are going to use your solution. Um, it took me, what, half an hour less time than that to talk to you through creating a solution diagram. 
I used icons that I just took right off of the Smarshi website, um, but you can definitely use just kind of boxes or any sort of icon um, iconography that you would like to use. All right, I hope this was helpful. Thanks everyone. Thank you.